Oh, wait a moment, wait a moment. There's a mistake here, isn't there? Can you find it? Very good, here it is. I am a little dog. Because having a dog and being a dog are not the same. Hi, welcome back to Grammar Time. This is Yosha speaking and today we're gonna be working on your grammar. This is Emma. Emma is 30 years old. She's an actor. She's got blonde wavy hair and her eyes are brown. Emma is brave and very clever. Now take a look at these words. Is, she's, she's got, are, is again. These are the words that we're going to be talking about today. To be, and have got. Well, here we go. Let's start with the verb to be. Be in Spanish would be ser o estar. So let's combine it with an adjective, be young. And let's draw a table. On the one side we'll put the subject, on the other the forms of to be with the adjective young. So for the subject pronouns. In singular, of course, we have I, you, he, she, it, and in plural, we, you, and they. How do you combine I plus be young? I am young. Very good. And you? You are young. He, she, it, he, she, it, is young. You can also abbreviate them, that is, you can contract them. I'm young, you are young, he's young. Now for plural. Plural is a bit easier. We, you, or they, all of them the same, are young. And again, you can abbreviate, you can contract. We're young. Now that's affirmative, of course. Let's see the negative, not be old. I, I'm not old. You, you're not old. Or you aren't old. He, she, it, isn't old. We, you, they, aren't old. Well done. So, let's practice this a bit. Let's talk about Dave. Make sentences. Dave be 13 years old. Dave is 13 years old. He not be very tall, a negative. He isn't very tall. Jill and Joe, Dave's grandparents. Jill and Joe are Dave's grandparents. They not be young anymore. They aren't young anymore. They be very nice. They're very nice. Dave and his grandparents be very close. Dave and his grandparents are very close. Well done. Now, that's B. Let's have a look at have. And once more, I'll also give you an object, have got plus have. Once more, we make a table with subject pronouns. In singular, I, you, he, she, it. In plural, we, you, they. I and you are the same. That's easy. So, I or you have got hair. And once more, we can abbreviate or contract it. I've got hair, you've got hair. And he, she, it is a bit different. He, she, it has got hair. Or he's got hair, it's got hair, she's got hair. Okay. 
Now, what about we, you and they? It's easy, plural is always the same. Have got hair. We've got hair, you've got hair, they've got hair. Let's once more take a look at the negative. Not have got hair. I or you haven't got hair. He, she, it hasn't got hair. We, you and they haven't got hair. Well done. Let's practice. This is Daniel, Vanessa and Jenny. Make sentences with have got. Daniel, have got, very short hair. Daniel has got very short hair. The girls have got long hair. That was really easy. The girls have got long hair. Vanessa have got blue eyes. Vanessa, one girl, she. Vanessa's got blue eyes. Well done. They not have got class today. They haven't got class today. One more. Jenny not have got a backpack. Jenny hasn't got a backpack. Now, sometimes people wonder, do I need be or do I need have got? So, let's practice that a bit. Alyssa, a singer. We're identifying her, so Alyssa is a singer. She, blue hair. Yeah, that's possession. She's got blue hair. She, not very tall. She isn't very tall. And Alyssa, not a big nose. That's one small possession, isn't it? Yes. Alyssa hasn't got a big nose. Now that's clear. That's affirmative and negative. But what about questions? Take a look at this. Kawi is very tall. How do you make the question? Is Kawi very tall? Yes. So what you do is you take the verb is and you put it to the front. What about this one? He has got short hair. The question is Has he got short hair? Why? Okay, so once more, what you did was you take have or has in this case because it's third person singular and you put it to the front. That is to say to make questions we put be or have before the subject. Let's practice this a bit. Lucy and Tom. Lucy and Tom's siblings make a question. Are Lucy and Tom's siblings? Good. Now let's answer this one. Yes, you know that you can never just say yes. It sounds bad. So, yes they are. And Tom, short hair. Has Tom got short hair? That's the way. Let's answer this one too. Once more, yes. Yes, he has. They, brown eyes. Have they got brown eyes? Their eyes look rather blue, so that's a no, isn't it? No, they haven't. And Lucy's hair straight. Make a question. Pay attention to this one. Lucy's hair. Is Lucy's hair straight? Yes. The subject is not Lucy. The subject is Lucy's hair. It. No. 
wavy. Now let's correct this straight thing. No, it's wavy. You could also say, no it isn't, it's wavy, but that's too long, isn't it? Okay, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to practice and see you next time.